Well, a good afternoon to you. It's two o'clock, of course. That means one thing. Sunday afternoon, it's the craft along with our very own Leone. I'm so looking forward to this. Now, of course, many of you have already got your kits, but if you haven't and you're interested in the items that we're going to be using within the craft along, you've still got the opportunity to buy the actual kit. The details are there on the screen for you and you're saving £8, look, £19 and 97 pence. You're going to get the nested heart scribble stamp. You're going to get the stencil set there's three stamps in there and of course the sticker sheets as well so you can still obviously you can't craft along at this precise moment with us if you haven't already got the kit but do take advantage of being able to get this and of course you can record the shows or catch on rewind and uh, craft along another time of course now we are going to get across to Leone any second now uh, we'll just give you the details for the kit once again 702294 is the item number 19 pounds and 97 pence I do hope you're going to stay with us we're going to have a lot of fun during the next two hours i'm going to be crafting along with leone as well uh but you know what? we're going to have a lot of fun do email into us during the shows as well i'm just going to pop over to the website just as we get ready you can see that of course the craft along kit there for you we've got all sorts of other items the distress inks are there there's products that we're going to use throughout the craft along show as i say i'm going to be crafting along with leone i can't wait for this uh, so do stay with us let us know what you're up to let us know if you are crafting along or we're raring to go do stay with us, join us on Facebook as well. Oh. Hello. How exciting is this? It's scary, isn't it? It's just for you. Yeah, it's a bit scary. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah we just... do. We haven't <laughs> fallen out. <laughs> We're really good friends. I can't wait for this, actually. But yes, we've got everything yeah. set up to go. As I'm sure everyone who bought the kit beforehand is raring to go at home. Do please, you know, if you've got photographs, emails, questions, yeah. if there's anything happening and you want a reminder of anything, if we're going a little bit too fast for you, do yes. let us know. We're going to try and rein in a little bit yeah. and take it nice That's and steady. because we have got Facebook Live. So, and obviously you can still email us, studio at Yes. Um, what I'm going to do before we start, because I've obviously sent, um, oh, this is unusual. Um, <laughs> I've sent um, Facebook messages. Well, I've put it on my Facebook what we need, but just in case you didn't manage to see Facebook, um, I'm just going to run through what you need first of all. Because me being me, I obviously didn't finish prepping it till yesterday. So, what I want you to get is some watercolour cardstock. Okay, I've just got a bundle of watercolour cardstock. I've cut it down, um, so it's approximately A5-ish. Not a big deal, okay? The big, this is the thing you'll find out with me quite soon. It's not a big deal. So if anything ain't right, it don't matter. The next thing, now we are gonna be using a Clarity Stencil Card. Now, if you haven't got Clarity Stencil Card, don't panic. It's kind of, what I want you to dig out um, is card that doesn't react as much as watercolour cardstock. So maybe it's card that you used um, for your alcohol inks, something like that, okay? Because uh, we're trying to um, see the differences with our card. I'm not used to this. So we're trying to make out the differences with our card. If you haven't got that, please don't panic. Um, you're also going to get your distress inks. Now, if you haven't got distress inks, if you've got something else, that's absolutely fine. We're also you're going to be using our distress um, ink pads. Now, obviously, the thing is with distress it gives you specific finished effects so that's why we're using distressed if you're using something else don't panic i want to see what you produce so it's all about techniques share with us share with us what you've got we're using archival inks as well just a dye ink so some that again is going to dry really quick so that's our archival i've got water spritzers so we've got water spritzers we've got white and black pens um, I've used Poscas, but you might be getting uh, gel pens, um, and we'll talk about that when we get to use them. Uh, I think that's about it. Obviously, me being me, rice paper, and Ooh. of course, um, a cloth ready to tidy up our surfaces. Oh, yes. <laughs> none of that, uh, you know, none of the thingies with us. What are they called? <laughs> what are they called? Baby wipes, even forgotten oh. what they're called. <laughs> 
Um, sponges. Now, it's up to you what sponges you use. I've got these because I found them yesterday and they were well cheap. Uh, so, I've got these and they're really quite good. So, I've got the sponges. Um, but, obviously, if you haven't got sponges, that's absolutely fine. If you haven't got these, uh, cut and dry, your normal sponges, that's brilliant. Um, I think, is that it? I think that's it, our Catherine. Glue? Glue. Glue for black cardstock as well for finishing touches. Now, I'm going to let you, I'm going to give you a few seconds because I know if you're at home going, oh, I haven't got the card, I've got some samples next to me. So if you're thinking, oh my gosh, I haven't got the card stock or, you know, a paper trimmer because we're cutting it down, putting it in a book or putting it on card stock. So if you need to go and get a paper trimmer, some glue and some card stock, go and do it now. I'm going to show a few finished samples. So I'll give you just a couple of minutes to leg it, but show you some. <laughs> That's what I thought. <laughs> so I don't want you to panic, you see. Um, but a few finished samples to start you off. Oh, now, wonderful. You will have... Um, this, the team, the amazing team, you know, they're always incredible. R.D. Paramore sent that in. I love it because she's used... Um, actually, she's used the circle and she's used the oval on that one, I do believe. So using different... All parts of this range, you know, because I brought out the scribble range previously. This one, you can see the heart there and the gorgeous circles. Um, and that one is from our lovely D as well. Um, this one, hey, we've got a, we've got all of these. Um, this one, I love it because she's used a texture paste. I like that. And this is the thing. I mean, we're going to be showing ideas today, but there's so many ideas. There's so many beautiful things you can do. Carol there, uh, Sarah. I love what Sarah's done. Layering, beautiful. Um, you know the stamps and the designs. I love that one. I think that is superb. That's from ID as well. And I like the fact that the backgrounds, but they can be strong. They can be focal images, as this one. You know, that one from, wow. that's from our Linda. I mean, that is strong, isn't it? That is striking. It really is. And it's really drawing the eye in. You know, there are so many ways to actually do them. That's from Sheila, which I absolutely love. Just show you a few more. Ah, oh, lovely Sam. Sam, um, uh, when we did the uh, Clarity Demo Day, Sam was sat just across from me. Oh. And they were funny, the two mucky crafters <laughs> together. Um, that's our lovely Sam. I love this one as well. Um, that one is by lovely Sam as well. And I just think that is absolutely exquisite. Just using that beautiful heart from the kit. OK, shall we get on? Let's that do that. That feels like a couple of minutes. Was it? Sounds like Maybe a plan. Maybe it might have been a few seconds. I've got loads. <laughs> but you can see the team have been so busy. Now, we'll show you some more of them. If we're going too fast, if you need us to stop, you can tell us. This is live TV. So studio at tachanda.com. And there you go. You've got all those beautiful samples. Thank you all very much indeed. Live pan, boom. Um, now, if um, if you do want the kit and you haven't got it yet, you can obviously record this and then tune in at a later date. Right then. Oh, sure. we've got people joining us on Facebook as well, Leonie. Well, I, I, I can know, see I Sam's there. We've got Heather. We've got Tori. Oh. Sarah John's there. Hi, David. Uh, David's there. Hi, David. We've got Maria Grimshaw there as well. Oh. Do say hello to us if you're on Facebook. And don't forget, if there's any questions, you can email into the studio, studio at achanda.com, or leave a little post on Facebook. We'll try our very best uh, to answer any questions we can. Uh, Carol Ann says she's ready as well. Right. So, yes, let's go. That's great, correct. Let's Go. So, when you've got your stencil at home, I'm going to put the packaging under because obviously white on white, you're not going to see a thing. So, when you've got your stencil, you will have noticed that you've got these little bars in. Okay, so what you need to do, first of all, is trim those little bars off. It hasn't been designed to be used all in one piece. It's been designed to be used individually. I've cut into it there, but that's all right. What I find easiest, and um, I, I like cutting from, you know, from a certain angle. Yeah. So just tilt the, the stencil so you're cutting in so it feels more comfortable to you. Okay. So I'll give that one to our Thank Catherine. You. Catherine's getting the clean stencils. Um, so literally just trimming it off. And I thought I'd wait and do that live on air just in case you haven't done yours as well. So taking those off. I wanted quite chunky stencils, you know, because I wanted us to be able to... Oh, I haven't finished that yet. I've had, there's another one there. So make sure you get rid of all them bars. Okay, if that one where you're following the the little um, the little curve, just follow it round with your scissors, and then the heart one. See, I'm turning it, so again, I'm just following it down with my scissors. 
So I'm just trimming it off just like that. Right, stencils Thank done. Thank you, Leone. There you go. Oh, Catherine. Boom. Um, so you'll have your stencils, you'll have your stamps. Mine are up here, mine are ready to go. Okay, first things first, okay. We're going to get, so I wanted us to, to get used to um, the different cards. Okay. So what right, we're going to okay. do, I want you to take a piece of your stencil card or at home your non-motor card. I'm going to call it stencil card. Every time I refer to stencil card, that's your non-motor card stock, okay? Or your non-stamping card stock. And then we're going to get a piece of your watercolour card. Okay. Now let's Lovely. just get used to this. So cards, this, the whole practice is seeing how our inks differ yep. on our cards. So take one of your distress inks, you can take any. I'm going to go for, I'm going to stick to the ones I were using at home, which I think were um, actually, I think it was my blue. So I'm going to go for a blue and purple. Okay. Choose what you want. And if you want to use these, Catherine, we can definitely okay. use the same I'm gonna one. I'm going to go for a green and a pink. Amazing. The lovely colours, aren't they? They are. They're Ooh, beautiful of these. Do you know, it's the one I always pick up, the picked raspberries there again. So good, isn't it? It's but I've so got good. twisted citron with mine That's as well. one of my favourites. Yes, it's lovely. I love the it? name, twisted yeah. citron. Um, right, now, we you distress oxides? They tell you to shake them like that. Okay. okay, you do need to shake them because what happens is it's a mixture of a dye and a pigment. So the pigment drops straight to the bottom, it'll settle at the bottom. So you do need to give them a shake. However, if you're shaking them like that, it feels like it's taking forever. So what you can do, when you shake them like that, however, it sometimes it can come out the top. Yeah. So if you put a bit of cloth on the top and give them a good shake. Okay. It is worth shaking your, your um, spritzers before you use them every time. So, and if you take the lid off, see, because when you get the little lid, when you shake them, all the ink goes in the little lid. So yeah. if you do it this way, you're not going to get covered in ink. Okay, so you've given them a good shake, then you can actually see when you turn them to the bottom, you'll be able to see if the ink's moved or not. You know, can you see there? So if it's moved, you're fine, you're ready to go. Can I just show as well? That's why you need a cloth over the top. Uh -huh. now. Pink and green has come out of mine, so don't just shake it with the lid off. That will happen. And actually, I mean, we've used, this is work, right? Welcome to my mind. This is, uh, <laughs> this is coming into my brain. We used a bit of kitchen towel. Yep. Really, I've popped some rice paper out for you. you have. Anything like that, use your rice paper. Of course. Because then, all that gorgeous colour, you'll be able to use it. So have your rice paper on hand if you've got rice paper at home. If you haven't, it's not a big deal, but it helps. So what we've got on our surface, so I've got our two colours, we're ready to go. But before we start, what we've got down on the surface, I've popped watercolour cardstock. Okay. Now I've done yep. that for a reason. Whether it's your cardstock, whether it's your rice paper, it's because you can use this. And we are going to be using whatever we spritz on here. Okay. So if you can at home, if you can get yourself a piece of card underneath, because that piece of card we will be using. So maybe, if you want, use one of your watercolour, uh, piece of watercolour cardstock. Some underneath to catch okay. our spritzer, because we are going to be using that for our finished piece. Lovely. Okay, so Lovely first stuff. of all, we're going to take our stencil card. Okay. And literally all we're going to do is get used to the, the paper and the card. Sorry if, you, if you're into this, you've done this loads, but if you're brand new, it's things like this that are important. So just give it a couple of spritz. Look at that colour, look at the richness of that. Turn it round or turn your paper round. The reason I'm doing this is because I want to hit the other side, but also I'm thinking about my background. Yes, so I understand. So all the time, I'm not just working on one project. Okay. All the time we're working on two projects at once. Lovely. And it allows you to get used to always thinking about what's underneath. Okay. So it's not just this, if you see what lovely. I mean. So next, spritz again okay. to get a couple of those colours now. Now the lovely thing about stencil card, you can see immediately that purple lying on top of the blue. Oh, so with yours, you can see immediately those colours. And the stencil card, you see, because this is a dye ink, mixed with pigment, the dye starts to, yeah. you can see it straight away. It can away. straight away. Those colours work amazingly Aren't well, amazing. got to say. And the, you see it sink in, don't you? Yep. So pop that to one side, okay. bring your watercolour card in. Okay, so with your watercolour card, same again. I mean, this isn't, you know, this isn't difficult. It's just getting used to card. So it spritz are one colour. That's it, a couple of spritzers. I'm going to twist my card round. 
So I'm being really specific where I'm putting my ink and then another spritz, like so. Okay, cool, okay. You will notice we've still got ink all the way around. Don't worry yep. about that, okay. it's fine. Okay, right. now, as immediately you can see your difference. On this card, on your stencil card, it's soaked in. It's oh, it has, has it? it. Yeah. Yep, you can but really see on that. your watercolour card, it's sitting on top of the card, yep. isn't it? So that means now, if you take your water spritzer, you spritz onto your watercolour card, and immediately those drips, you can see the the you know the wetness on top yep. of that watercolour card. Where if you spritz on the other card, Ooh. it's not really doing much. Is it? It's Nothing. not. There's a there's a big difference. There's I've got a massive to say. difference. So that initially, I mean, it's not a biggie, but it just shows you if you're just beginning, this shows you the difference between cards. It doesn't mean that one's wrong and yeah. one's right. It'll just give us different effects, and that's why I wanted to do this today so we'd have different effects. Wonderful. Like for instance, if you took your rice paper and scrunched your rice paper up and then just laid it or dabbed it on your watercolour card, you can actually straight away, you can start to get an effect. And that is so easy to get a really cool background. So just a bit of scrunched up card on there, on uh, rice paper on that card, and look at those effects. Yeah, I love fabulous. that. And obviously you've got your rice paper. I mean, if it were dry rice paper on that one, not so much. Okay. And that's your difference. Okay. Right. Are we okay with that? I'm fine with that. Are we okay Lovely. with that at home? I have got a bit of colour envy, I've got to say. Have oh, you got so colour envy? We go. I, we I like swap. what I've got. I've liked, but I much prefer yours. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I like that, though. I They're don't like pretty. it. Yeah, and we're not finished, have we? Isn't yes. It funny? And you can change colours. You don't have of to course. stick to the same colours. Okay, pop that to one side for now. We're not trying things with a heat gun. Um, don't panic about that. I'm going to turn my back on you. Pop these to one side. We're not using a heat gun because of time, really. Yeah. I thought we'll get through stuff and let these dry. You can blast them with a heat gun, but it, it makes your distress ink react different because they oxidise. So when they oxidise, the white comes yeah. through. And that's why they're so different from any other ink that, that I've ever used because of that fabulous chalky finish. Yeah. And sometimes you don't want it quite as white, so just allow it to dry naturally. Okay. Let's Lovely. get crafting. So what we're going to do, first of all, um, we're going to take our fabulous our cardstock. So again, we're going to be using stencil card okay. and we're going to be using watercolour card. Wonderful. Now this time, let's get getting our stencils involved. Okay. So we'll work Can't on wait. one piece. We're going to be working on both of them, but one at a time. So taking my stencil card, first of all, and I've still got that background piece, still okay. keeping yep. that where it is. Take your big circle stencil. Pop it anywhere. It doesn't have to be perfect. Pop it anywhere. And take one of your colours again. So you might be changing your colours if you want to. Ooh. You might want... That is up to you. If you change your colours, think about your background. Because we're going to be using this background. So make sure if you change your colours, it works with your background. Yeah. Okay. So even though it's a scrap paper, it is, it's, still our, uh, it's still a thing. It's still a project. So just bear that in mind. I'm going to be brave. Be brave. I'm going to go for spiced marmalade. I think you should. I like a cheeky bit of spiced marmalade. Yeah, it's a lovely colour. Give it, it a bit of a shake. Yeah. This is so unlike me because I've been so afraid of colour for so long, but I've really? been saying this a lot recently. Oh. I'm drawn to the bright colours yeah, now. Yeah. And yeah. as I've got older and progressed with crafting, I'm so much braver than I yeah. ever was. It's so exciting. Yeah, isn't it? It I is. love bright colours. Yeah. I would really, say mine were always like browns yes. and safe yeah. tones yeah. but now it's like boom yeah get the color on and normally i don't use purple but for some reason i've had a right old purple Ooh. time i know it's weird <laughs> um okay so ready we're going for it so we've got our first stencil in place just get that color on so two or three blasts okay and leave it like that now what you will find is i've sort of halved my card That's i have fine if you haven't <laughs> That's fine if I've you got haven't. A slightly, uh, a slightly whiter corner, but it's pretty even with mine. But I am actually purposely trying to be different to you, Leone, so we can see oh, as well the contrast. Yes. Oh, cheeky, cheeky well, rebel. While ever I'm being very careful and watching carefully at the same time. <laughs> so. Oh, thank you, Jane. Say nice colours, Catherine. They're thank beautiful colours. Now move that one away. Okay. Bring so take your, your one colour in. 
Same stencil. Oh, nice. Okay. So same stencil. Okay. Yeah. And again, give it a couple of blasts. Okay. And again, I'm kind of aiming it for one side. Okay. okay. Now I've put my stencil more off the, the card this time. Beautiful. Is that and all right? Same. Yep, yep, yep. No Wonderful. rules. Okay. When you're using your spritzers, and this is something that obviously I should tell you at the beginning rather than halfway through. If you go too close, yep. and I'm going to show you, don't do this at home, don't do this. So if you go too close, Look, it's really intense. Uh, it kind of pulls, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. That can look beautiful. Yeah. But but when you want it more diffused and you want a bigger surface area, that's when you you pull the spritzer away so it's about that far. Yeah. <laughs> However far that is. So about that far, and that will give you a really nice diffusion. <laughs> about six inches, I would say. Something I've like got that. a top tip actually, and it sounds silly, but be careful when you do a spritz. Do make sure that where it's going to spray out is oh, pointing yes. at the car stop, because yeah. I think we've all done it. We have had it the other way around and had a face full. Yeah, and when it's colours like that, <laughs> you ain't getting away with it. It's all right if it's an iridescent shine, but that's uh -uh. one reason to play it safe with colour. Yeah, go for a yeah. nice muted colour. It doesn't show as much. <laughs> <laughs> when you spritz yourself in the face. It's <laughs> been done. Top tips. <laughs> um, okay, we're going to change our stencil. Okay. So take that one aside now. Important. With your stencil, I want you to put it ink side up. Okay. Okay, because we're obviously going to use it. You know, it's me. We're going to be using all the ink, so ink side up. Take the smaller stencil, so now the circle stencil, and what I'm going to do with this one, I am going to, oh, I'm going to keep my card there, that doesn't matter, but I am going to angle it in. So this time I'm going to spritz over where we've got just been. Okay, and I'm angling it in again. But I'm not completely covering it because I like that distinction between the colours. I like the way the, the purple is sitting on the blue, but I also quite like this open space, this open light that I'm, we're creating. When you lift this one off, You'll be able to see the blue underneath it, but we've still got some white light, which I love. I love the way it's really diffused. It's so, it looks cool. How's that one, that, Catherine? That's yeah. all right. That's Amazing. all right, yes. Amazing. Lovely. Right, pop that one to one side for now. Bring your stencil card back in again. I'm going to put my stencil back down. Because I only hit half of the stencil, I've turned the stencil around. So when I spritz it, I'm going to hit the full thing because I want my stencil to be covered in ink. Okay. Right, and okay. now give it another spritz. So I'm aiming this time. I want some kind of white space. I'm going to aim for the ink to be on this this side of the cardstock. Okay. Again, it is up to you. Don't think you need to be really strict with that. So I'm happy with that. Boom. Okay, lovely. Then remove it. Let's see what we've got. Oh, I love it. So this, you can see just how vivid and blue that is, which looks absolutely stunning. I oh, love that is gorgeous. On your stencil card, it is really interesting how it starts to dry. Yeah. You know, it gives you a fabulous effect. However, pick up some water and just spritz loads of water in your hand because it's worth seeing what it does. Even on your stencil card, give it a spritz and you're splashing. So what you're doing, it's in your hand, then when you've got quite a lot, you're splashing it onto your cardstock. Allow it to do its thing. Yep. We're going to put it to one side to see what it does. Okay. So let's put those two to the side. You'll okay. see they're very different already. You know, the colours, the, the lovely tones, it's the way they sit. You know, what that one sits on top of the other yeah. with the car stock that's different. We'll be coming back to them, but for the minute, we're popping them to one side. Okay. So theoretically, by now, you should have four really nice light works over there. And you're also going to have a lot of ink. So round <laughs> here, we've got two dirty stencils. That's fine. We want two dirty stencils. You're also going to have my dirty notes. I actually wrote notes. And I think I've still stuck to them as yet. <laughs> Round here, can you see we've got loads of ink? Oh, oh, you we don't waste have. any of it. Okay. If you've got your rice paper, or um, or you've got um, what have I got? Yeah, well, I, have I got more? You have actually got more ink. Although I've got to say, maybe the colour's showing up a little bit more. Yeah. But yes, yeah. I think you are yeah. slightly messy, Elia. Yeah, of course I am. <laughs> 
I mean, <laughs> if I weren't messy, it wouldn't be me, would it? How, yes. how are you cracking on at all? Let home? us know how messy your work area is. Maybe take some photos and send them in as well. Are Absolutely. you a Leone? Are yeah. you a Catherine? Are you a Phil Martin? Who'll never oh. get? It would be perfect. No, there I wouldn't know. be a splash. He'd have a spray box, or wouldn't it? He would. Yes, He'd that's be doing true. this in a box. That's um, true. I, I, at home. I had a laptop way too close. It's absolutely covered in ink. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, okay, so now we're working on our piece of scrap. Oh, right, This okay. is why I wanted to have this piece of scrap. I hope you got that. I hope you've got your scrap out. Uh, what colours are you all using? Oh, I think you're talking to each other. I know, Leone, I did write notes. Oh, I you're know. loving it. Anyway, that's a good sign. Um uh, <laughs> Whether you've made a mess or not. The messier, the better. That's what I say. Absolutely. And if you've got rice paper, that's cool. Certainly you know, because yep. we're, we're picking it up, we're going to use it. Okay, Lovely. so you want your water spritzer. Okay. What I want you to do now is absolutely flood this. Okay. So with your right. spritzer, now, this is what I love. As soon as it hits, I adore how that ink starts, because this is a watercolour cardstock, the ink will start to move. I love that. Look at that. And you can tilt it. So you can bring that ink in. So I've got a puddle in there. That's good. I'm cool with that. But then just let it look at that. I love oh, that. Oh, wow. I'm that also makes me happy. noticing that some spritzers are finer sprays than others, of course, as well. Yeah, So I think yours different. is flooding a little bit quicker than mine. Yeah. But it doesn't matter. Just squirt it a few more times. Absolutely. I Ooh. You'll Ooh. get, I love this, you'll get some spritzers. Oh, um, I like that, Leon. are ridiculously annoying because they don't seem to do anything. And others are too strong. It's it yeah. is getting decent spritzers. Uh, the two I've got, one's a Cosmic Shimmer one, and that one is from, I think that's the Society, see the Society of All Artists, or it's um, Indigo Blue, I think, but I'm not sure. Marvelous. Right, okay. okay. When, we're, when, we're pretty, when we're pretty wet, so you'll have some beautiful movement in there. Okay. Happy with that. So what we're going to do now, okay, now if, if it's massive puddles, I want you to lift a few off. Okay. So just take your rice paper, and gently lift some of those puddles off. Not too much, we still want it damp, but lift some of those puddles off. Now what you're gonna get, and do it in a dabbing motion. So you're sort of dabbing it, because what that'll do, I don't want you to lift everything. Hopefully, Ooh. it'll put like almost a marbled effect yep. in the center there. Is that happening with you? Yeah, yeah, it's coming on. Beautiful. Yep. See, I, I like love that. this. Before you know it, you're creating a whole new piece. Now, yeah. take your stencils. This should be nice and damp. Take your stencil. You are going to put your stencil down, uh -huh. ink side down. This is cleaning it, so it's ink side down. Take the second stencil. Again, pop it ink side down. If anybody has clean hands by the end of this, we're not friends. <laughs> <laughs> okay? And then all I'm going to do now, I'm going to give it a, a light spritz, just three spritzers. And then I'm just going to take my rice paper and I'm working the stencil into my cardstock. So you're cleaning your stencil, but of course you're going to get a print. Now, the reason we wet our card was because that will grab the ink on the stencil. Yeah. Um, but, and that's what you need. Oxides are going to react with water. So that will grab it. Now, with your oxide sprays, I did hear someone say, well, would you be able to use a reinker and just add it to your oxides to create an oxide spray? You won't. No. Because the oxides... It, it is the it is the oxidization that makes them so special of course, and that's yeah. with water yeah. so if you added water to a reinker you're just gonna it's just gonna happen straight away yeah. it is a special secret formula <laughs> right are you ready lift your inks oh i can't wait for this i'm going with the outside one of mine first because i think my favorite one's that. gonna be the inner one how strong oh, is that oh fabulous that. That, that. you see now this is a dirty stencil this is why oh, yes. that's nice. Ah, like that that's good why colours. I kept the little one for last. Uh, yes. That's good. I love them colours. So both of those strong colours, aren't they? I love the fact that, can you see, uh, it's starting to seep into the yep. car stock as well. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, you've still got you've still got a lot of ink on there. Yeah. Because we've still got a lot of ink on there, we can still use that. So okay. pop this to one side for it. Oh, no. Before we pop it to one side. Changing my mind. Before you <laughs> pop it to one side, just pop this one back on. In the same place? Yeah. Pop your little one back on. And I think, um, yeah. So what we'll do now, I'm going to go in with a different colour. 
I'm going in with yellow because okay. it's one of my favourites. So I'm going to go in with my fossilised amber. I know it's one of my favourites because this is nearly empty. And I've only had these about two weeks. It's a serious favourite. Oh, OK. So you've gone with a totally different colour to the one yes, that you've already used. Yes, I have. Hmm, decisions, Shall I decisions. show you? Yeah, Shall I show me. you? Don't then worry. if I don't like it, I can go exactly. do something different. So what I'm doing is just spritzing in the centre. So okay. I'm aiming this right for the centre. Now look okay. at that. So what Lovely. it does, you get that power intense colour. So obviously it is up to you it, what colour you want sitting in the centre. So when I pull that off again, look at that colour. Oh wow. So it's really, really striking and it really draws the eye right into that centre. So you know, I'm going to be a bit fancy. brave again here. Now this isn't brave. one I would have thought I would have gone for. What have you gone for? I have gone for iced spruce. Now, funnily enough, um, I was watching Tim Holtz's video and he was saying iced spruce were one of, when he had to pick the colours, iced spruce were one of the, the first ones that he picked because it's one of them all rounder colours. Yeah. You know, it's a little bit hickory smoke. It's a little bit, <gasps> hey, that looks good with the pink. Done it. Boom. I like that. That looks that looks really... Um, I'm pleased with that. It's got a bit of a thing to that, hasn't it? A bit of a atmosphere. Yeah. A bit atmospheric. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. love it. Oh, hey, love it. We've had a Ooh, picture. We have. Joe in Dunkston, my hometown as well. Oh, I wonder let's if have I know look. Joe. I wonder which Joe it is. Now then, let's have a look. Oh, oh, look, oh Joe's picture of it. Joe's work. That's very good. Boom, well done, Joe. Well Not too done. messy at all. Look at that perfect. You know, on the, the you know, where it's collecting all the mess. You yeah. can see exactly where the squares have been. Very neat, very, very symmetrical neat inside actually. That. Very neat and tidy. I will try Very and get you out of that before the end of the hour. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. If you want to share your photos, we'd love to see them. Studio at achanda.com. And we will keep having a little look on here. Uh, loving it, Catherine. Uh, watching today, learning a lot, really enjoying it. That's Dawn. She's just watching. Learning Queen of Mercy. Hey. Um, Emma's saying, what colours are we using? I don't know if she's asking us, but if you're asking us or the team, um, Emma, if you're asking us, I was using Mermaid Lagoon and then wilted violets I love the names oh, they are and fun. then my fossilized amber what did you use our Catherine? I used the twisted citron I used the picked raspberry then I went into a bit of spiced marmalade and Beautiful. my final one was the iced spruce superb so that's for you. Now, I'm going to show you these ones because these are the ones I did at home. I love how different they are every yeah. single time. So every single time you will get different finishes, wow. you'll get different prints. I love that. I just think it's fabulous. Right, we're ready. We can put that to one side. Okay. Okay, again, we're filling up the back there. So we're getting a lovely We've done selection a lot already, of I know, I know. And now I have to try and remember what we're doing next. Let me have a look <laughs> at my notes. Bear with, bear with. So we stencil dance card, lift extra, blah blah blah. <laughs> right, take a new piece of card, got it. I know, oh right. well Adele is not... loving this. There's actually an OMG in there. Is she? Yes. Is she an OMG yes. in it? Sandra. Oh, I have a lot of mess. Well done, Sandra, that's Boom. the best way. Boom. Do you know? Go on, go on, go yes. on. Yes. Oh, we've got Pat in there as well. I'm not crafting, but enjoying watching you both. Well, oh. hopefully we can give you some inspiration <laughs> and for uh, another crafter. Or Andy, me if hands are covered already. Boom. And it's Andy <laughs> who's done some of the beautiful samples for us. Yeah. Ah. Okay, before I go on to... Oh, here we go. It's the first... Whee! Before I go back <laughs> onto that note, we're going to clean our stencils again. We're going to okay. do this a couple of times throughout. Okay. We're already going. Um, so take watercolour cardstock, water piece of watercolour card. cardstock. Okay. Yep. Again, just give it a light spritz okay. two or three times, that's all. Pop your little stencil on and then, or your big stencil, it doesn't really matter. You're then going to take your brush. So your big uh, paintbrush or any paintbrush, don't matter. I'm going to give it another couple of spritz. Okay, yeah. And then with your paintbrush, brush the paint off. Have you got yours there? I that's have. It. Right. Okay. So you're literally brushing the ink off. Now, what this will give you is a really nice, soft finish. Oh, Every I like single one that, of us will be different. I love this. Oh, I do like that. Isn't that pretty? It's so soft. Oh, so, I do like that a lot. And look, when you lift it, the ink from the other side is going to be on there as well. So you'll get that next Ooh. print. Interesting, isn't I it? I spruce, you see. Yeah. I didn't expect that. Isn't it nice? Yep. Do the same with the other one, the big okay. one. So I'm having that, so it's just falling off slightly. 
again, I'm going to, now because my card's lifting, that's okay. I'm just going to give it a couple of spritzes. Your couple of spritzes just help the ink move. Yeah. So now you can start lifting it. And what it will do, it will obviously move the first bit that you've got, um, that you put down first. Now, brushing. This is something I do a lot at the workshops. Try and get these long, long swipes. Now, I know that sounds silly, but if you did it like this, you get lines. So, if you do these long sweeps, it allows a colour blend. And it's a really nice way of getting a really good sweep. If it's not shifting, if your ink's not moving enough, just give it a couple of spritzes with your water and then just going back over with your brush. So get into this. So it's these long swipes. Allow it to fall off your card. Yeah. Start off your card and allow it to come. And when you do that, can you see how you get those oh, really nice colours. long sweeps? So then when we lift it off, Look at that. Now, I like this because it's so soft. It you know, is, you get beautiful. a really, really nice print. Dad is cleaning our stencil. This is why I know I bang on about it on every single show, but this is why I love cleaning our stencil with something other than a baby yeah. wipe or a, a tub with water yeah, in it. Obviously, this one, I am taking a bit of the ink off with rice paper. It's cleaning your stencil. Oh, David from Bigger Watching. Yes. Oh, and another image for you as well. Let's see what Dave's been up uh, to. Oh, wow. wow. Look at that now. There's some good, Boom. bold colours in that one as well. <laughs> There's some nice, messy surfaces there. There is. Dave. I like that. <laughs> yes. That says, um, keep those photos coming in. That's looking really cool. Studio at tachanda.com. Okay, next. I even love this bit, you know, where it's swept out. Yeah. I just think that looks absolutely glorious. Okay, so the next bit that we're doing, taking a piece of watercolour cardstock. Now, now, if you got these stamps, I know some of you won't have got these stamps, but if you got these stamps, um, they're here are Catherine, so... What you'll have got with these stamps, do you want to have a little look through? I'm, I'm excited now choose. because I haven't, it's one thing I haven't got, I haven't got these stamps. Mm -mm -mm. So, what we're going to be doing, we're not using the full thing, okay. we're just going to use some of the elements in this. So, we, we, if you did get these stamps, you got the stamps, you also got little masks. Okay, okay, now, decide which stamp you're using. You can use the person if you want, so I'll show you what mine look like. Bear with. Dooby dooby doo. Going through the pile. I managed to lose it. No, I haven't. Oh. So that's the one oh, I've I love done. That. Oh, that's the one I've picked. So you can go for the character or the one, this is what we're aiming for, or that's the wolf. The, the howling. Now and he's I love on the that. same stamp as the, the girl you've shown because it's the one I've got. Yeah. Oh, no, it's not. It's the other one I've got. But yes, aren't they fabulous? Yeah, they're beautiful. So you can use wow. a main image, okay? okay? That is up to you. Um, absolutely your choice how you do this. Um, I'm going to, however, if you haven't got these stamps, you can create your own mask. So we're going to be using a mask. So if you've got these stamps, choose what you want and then take the mask because we're going to be using the mask. First okay. of all, however, we are going to be stamping. So right. um, we'll get our, our block. Where did I put the block? I got everything out for us. I've definitely put the block out. Yes, yeah, I have. There we are. Yes, I did it. <laughs> Hey, so far. <laughs> oh, We're that. doing well, Leone. Oh, I love We're it when we've well. remembered something. So, I managed <laughs> to lose my card, like, here we go. So, get the card. Okay, okay. now, yep. for those of you who haven't got these stamps, so, I want you to create a mask. If you want, if you, right, I'll make a sentence. So, just create a mask. So, say, if you haven't got these stamps, say you're just going to use the heart stamp. Okay, if you've got these stamps with a mask, you don't need to do this. Yep. But if you haven't, then we want to create a mask because I want us to have um, a separate area. So okay. I want a, a specific area. Yeah. Okay. So say I'm going to do the heart and I want a mask for that heart. It might not be a solid mask of the heart. It's up to you. So for instance, on my bit of card, I might just want a circle around that. Okay. Do you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. yeah. Just because you're doing a heart, and this is on the stencil card, so I'm just stamping that on the stencil card. Okay. But maybe my mask, because all these are quite uneven, maybe the mask I'm going to go for is just 
um, like a, a wobbly circle. It doesn't need to be an even ah, circle. I see. And the nice yep. thing is, if you don't aim for even, then it doesn't matter when it's not. Do you know what I mean? So, don't panic. So, if you haven't got a mask, make yep. yourself one. Okay. It's just a bit of cord. That's all we need for now. Lovely. If, however, you have got these... Um, stamps so we're thinking about this last night and when you look at that mask set look at all this blank space yeah there is a lot, a lot actually isn't there space. yeah you're right I want I want the little fish or yeah. actually that to me that's um it looks like a little thingy okay. what they call dolphin yeah right I want him but I want him in a circle okay so what I'm actually going to do is use some of this scrap to create my own mask. Oh, waste not, want not. Absolutely. Great idea. So what I'm going to do, I want to make sure it is the right size. So you might not be doing this at home, and I do apologise if, if you didn't get the stamps, but hopefully it will give you an idea. So if you do get the stamps, you'll be thinking, oh, yeah. So you can literally, you can die cut it, most definitely. You can create, you can stamp on it, you can create your own shapes with it. That's a beautiful thing with this. You know, you can do what you want with it, which is lovely. So I'm literally just cutting that out. So I've got a little shape to create my mask, okay? So I'm gonna take him off, like so. Okay. Yeah, I've created an egg. <laughs> That was the worst circle ever. <laughs> <laughs> but I weren't aiming for a circle, honest. So what we're doing next is, um, so for everybody who's got a stamp, I want you to take your main stamped image. So the main image that you want, I'm going to go for my little dolphin, okay? And then somewhere, then we're going to take... I'm going for my black archival. Okay. It could be a black, it might not, you might not want it as intense. So you might want to go for one of your other colours. We're going for archival because we know they're not going to move. Yeah. So when they're stamped, um, we know it's going to stay. We know okay. it's going to dry. So yeah. that's why we're going for archival. So you're calling the dolphin your main stamp? Yes. So I'm okay if I go with the bigger one with Absolutely. the face. Absolutely. Okay. Now, when I stamped, I had it for her, I had it off the page. However, yeah. I cut my card down, so don't panic. Okay. If it doesn't come off the page, it's not a big deal. Yeah. You can cut the card down. Um, so it is completely up to you. So for mine, this time, I don't want him coming off the card because he's going to be, you know, he's, he's jumping really high up on my card. So I'm going to have him. That's a rubbish stamp, isn't it? Turn over. <laughs> <laughs> so if you stamp rubbish, just turn over the piece of card. It's fine. Obviously, if you've got a stamping platform and you stamp rubbish, it might be a bit easier. We're using watercolour cardstock. So that's the card I'm using. I'm going to let it sit a little bit longer because it's watercolour cardstock. Um, the, because it's watercolour cardstock, it's going to sit in. Verse fine. Yeah, verse, verse fine will work. Good, yep. Absolutely. Um, we're not, at the minute, we're not going to be putting colour directly on this anyway. So it's going to be okay, to be fair, any of your ink pads. Okay, so we've got a little stamp. I mean, I love these stamps because on this one, I've got bubbles. I love the little octopus Ooh. there. There's loads of little extras. So some really cool images on that one. So pop that to one side. And now we're going to take our mask. So this is the mask that my special mask that I've okay. created and I'm going to decide which way. I think I might have it proper egg shape like that. Decisions, decisions. Okay. Something These like are very that. good masks, aren't they? Yeah, the lovely see masks. every bit of outline. Yeah. Or detail underneath as well. Absolutely. Beautiful. If you're not using our mask, if you're using a piece of card, you just go like that. <laughs> Stick it down. Bob's your uncle. So you don't don't over sweat this. You know, if if you've not got a proper mask and you've only got a bit of card, you are not going to be gluing it down. We're just holding it in place. Yeah. It'll be fine. And what I might do, for those of you who haven't got proper masks, hey, I hope I don't run out of watercolour cardstock. Um, for those of you who haven't got a proper mask, I'm going to do two at once. Okay. You do not need to, but I'm thinking if anyone's got something like this, I'm going to do, yep. you know, I'll show you both. So I'm covering all bases, I hope. Okay, so let's take our 
ink so what we're going to do this time because um with our inks obviously spritzing is brilliant but the difference between your spritzers and your ink pads is control yeah so what we're going to do this time is go for our um ink pads okay so wonderful. we're going for our distress oxide now if you're at home you want the ink pads that will react to water. So if you're not using Distress Oxide, for this one, don't use Archival. So use one of your other colours that react to water. Yeah. And that's important. So your normal Distress, if you've got them, will be perfect. Lovely. So choose whichever colours you fancy. Ooh. Oh. Oh. And all right. Oh, do Any. You know, do you know, I'm, uh, uh, uh. I'm going to do it again. I'm going to go for that Twisted I'm going to try and use different colours. So I'm going to use three. So I'm oh, going to go for three colours. Yes. I'm going for abandoned coral, twisted citron, and ooh, I'm gonna go for. Who we had email Mello? Uh, oh, that's lovely, look, Tracy's birthday. Happy birthday, Tracy! Oh, lovely Tracy, ladies. Tracy and Rachel. Oh, ladies, that's so lovely. You're crafting along with me. That's so lovely. And look at your cake. We've had so many images. Oh, that is so lovely. It's very exciting. I love this. It's nerve-wracking, but very exciting. It, it's it only is nerve fabulous, isn't it? Because I'm trying to remember what I'm meant to be doing. And <laughs> that doing, is not you're me. You're doing really well, you know, Leone. We're loving not, this. If you come, normally, if you come on a workshop, I mean, this would normally be your first workshop. My first workshops, so I've no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> so... It's not till end. It's not till runner. Last, you know, we do a runner workshops. I was saying this to one at groups the other day. I said, you're lucky you're last at run. At least I know what I'm doing by now. We actually managed to finish two projects. I shouldn't have said that. Oh, do you know, it took me over a year to pluck up courage to do my first workshop. I was just really? so frightened of standing there and doing it. It is scary, it, isn't it? Scary. Honestly, I mean, I'm going back a few years now, but I, I was petrified. Mm -hmm. It's mad, it's scary. Yeah. But you are like, oh, oh, what am I doing? Yeah. Uh, and you're meant to try and look like you know what you're doing for some reason. <laughs> for me, it was what if they hate it and they never come back again. Exactly. That was it. It was like, I'll just chase everybody away. Yeah, yeah. And you do, yeah, you always was, question yeah. yourself. Oh, we all do it, don't we? <laughs> right, OK, so the colours I've gone for. I've gone for peacock feathers. I've gone for picked raspberry, pickled raspberry. And then I've gone for a cheeky bit of spice marmalade. Ooh, and I'm going to use my sponges. What have you They're gone the for? They're the colours I would normally go for, but I've, I've stuck with a twisted citron, but I've nice. gone with abandoned coral, and I've gone for squeezed oh, lemonade with it. Squeezed lemonade in the spritzes is one of my favourite colours. Is it? Colors. Oh, it's amazing. Oh. Yeah, it's well good. OK, so um, all you're going to do is, with your mask in place you're going to pick up one of your sponges okay and then just start sponging your color over now you want you you don't want your color too thin because if it's too thin you're not don't do what i'm doing pick it pick, look look this is what i'm doing picking all the ink up on my fingers oh you are messier than me yeah, i've got to admit look how did i do that so we'll cover it up with the blue um so yeah. you want it relatively thick now i'm just going in circles you don't have to you might be doing that it really doesn't matter remember i'm going to do two at a time you do not have to do two at a time but i'm just doing two at a time because if you've got cardstock hold it in place and just go over as such okay so we're just creating our background now this is the difference and i thought we'd do this because you might have done this before but if you knew and i know a lot i know we've got new people like doing this and i thought even if you've covered this before it's worth going back yeah. over it because this is such a nice technique to create good backgrounds but it's so different from spritzing with spritzing it's just all over with this you are controlling exactly where you put your colors so put a few lumps of lumps <laughs> put a few lumps of color down then go to your next color so i'm going to go to my pick raspberry I'm going to use a different side of my sponge. With my sponges, whatever I'm using, whether it be cut and dry, whether it be these, I'm always, I always use more than one colour. I always use the side of my sponge rather than the end of my sponge. If I use the end, it kind of restricts me. If I use the side, it means I can use two colours on one sponge. It's called being tight. And then going back in, yes, I'm, I'm yeah, I think about it. <laughs> And I, I, it's a good investment, isn't it? A good set of sponges. So now you're filling in some more of those spaces. So nice and gentle, just applying that colour 
but we're applying pretty thick colour. Now, the reason we're applying pretty thick colour is because when we introduce water with this, we want it to react, we want it to move. If we only did um, a really fine bit of paint colour on it, yeah, those colours wouldn't really do much. Do you know what I mean? You wouldn't yeah. really see much difference. So that's why I suggest going in relatively heavy. Okay, so quite happy with that. And then I'm, I'm liking going to this, take the Leone. Third color. I'm liking Lovely. this. Nice colours. Yeah, and it's a beautiful it. image, is that? Yeah. Okay, and then your third one. There we go. So then you're just filling in your gaps. Don't worry about those colours overlapping. It's nice for them to overlap because this is where you get that beautiful blend. So allow them to overlap. That's absolutely fine. Okay. And you can see now we're really filling that page up. I generally work on a piece of paper that's bigger than my, my finished project. And that's because it allows me to cut it down. It also means I don't have to worry about the edges. I don't have to take it right up to the edges because I'm going to be cutting it down anyway. So that's not a big deal. Though if you're using your paper, you'll hold your paper in place. So if your mask is your paper mask, hold that in place, but allow your ink to go over it. So don't, um, you know, with your, your paper, don't allow your ink to... Don't avoid this. You need to be going over the top of it. That's what I'm trying to say. There we go. Oh, I do like that, Leonie. Look at that. That's strong, isn't it? Yours oh, is much stronger nice. than mine, but I'm loving it. Yeah, that's good colours. Isn't it interesting just how different the colours are? They're fabulous, aren't they? Lovely. Absolutely yeah, fab. Love it. So, now what we're going to do, now we're going to use a dye ink. Um, because I want us to create a drop shadow. Now you can do drop air. Uh, hi love. Sorry, I just saw her <laughs> on the other side of the studio. Um, now with your <laughs> with your drop shadows, you can do these after. But because our our piece is going to be wet afterwards, because obviously we're going to play with water. If we do it now, it's in, right? It's okay. done. And it also shows you the difference between the two inks. So it's not necessary, but it's a good practice. Yes. So I'm just going to use, could be any of your archivals. Okay. So you've got, um, I mean, it can be a black, it can be a grey. Oops, I don't know what I've done there. Uh, the choice is yours. So you've got loads of colours to choose from, our Catherine. Uh, that one's quite nice. I, I might go with a nice blue. Okay. So I'm going to oh, take Oh, Denise nice is blue. loving the colour combos. Thank you, Denise. Yeah. So take one of your archivals. Okay. And then one of your sponges. Okay. Now, we will be having a break in about three minutes, is that? About five minutes. That's good, because we'll have a bit of colouring in time. Okay. That's good. Okay. I'm so, being really brave this afternoon, Leonie. Oh, I like this. I know. Be brave, Catherine. I know. So, with your sponge, again, lift up. So, you're just dragging your sponge in your ink pad. Okay, yeah. And then you're going in from the mask. So it's on the mask. Are you crafting? Oh, no, she just... Well, I thought you were... She's cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> she's okay. cleaning. So from the mask, you brush the ink out. Now, this is really important that it's done right. So you're dragging it along the mask and out. When it comes out, you lift it off. Okay. So it, it goes, and I don't know if you can see this, but it, it sort of... You're brushing it. And let me show you at this angle. So, so, oh, there you go. Ba, ba, ba. Look at my trousers, they look a bit thingy today, don't they? Not sure they go with this top. Anyway, sorry, I'm looking at that. Which way are we going? You look very colourful. Thanks. Where are we? Okay. So, so, it's going to be going, and obviously this is a weird angle, so I can't do it proper, but it'll go like that. Can you see? So you brush it, wee, up <laughs> and away. So it's not along the whole paper. Now, that's important because that gives you the blend. And I get a lot of people not having trouble with blending. One of the biggest with blending is pressure. You don't need a lot of pressure. You can just keep applying ink over and over. If you're getting it, now don't do this. This is a, a thing. If you get it like that, you're putting way too much yeah. pressure. It's light pressure. That will give you a whole different effect. Okay. So nice and gentle and just going around the outside. Um, turn your card. You know, rather than trying to 
you know, make your arm go in weird directions. Like males kind of <laughs> doing this. Look. Just turn your card <laughs> round. Because <laughs> you'll find as well, if you try and do that, you yeah. might not get the right, you know, because it'll stop differently. Yeah. So you might not get it brushing to, you might not get it brushing out quite no. as smooth. And it's the blend that we're after. So when you get your speed up, you'll be able to whip round and just get in that really nice blend. Now, you will have noticed as you're doing this, as you're turning your card around, you'll be picking loads of ink up on your fingers. If you think about this and you're clever, you'll probably have a little bit of card that you keep like that and you never put your fingers on it. I never, ever do that <laughs> in my life. But it is a great way of working, if only I would remember. <laughs> but you know what? As I never do it, I'm not going to start now. If you're using card, it's exactly the same thing. The only difference is if you are using card, because this isn't thin, so your mask is really thin, isn't it? So you won't get that, that extra kind of edge. Your card will give you an extra raised edge. So it's got a bit of a lip around it. Um, so what's the question, sorry? S Sun just wants yes. to know if, all the sh if the shadow's all the way around the mask. It is. So it's all the way around that mask. And I'm spinning my card, picking more ink up when I need it, and just doing that. Do you know what? I am so tempted to peek underneath this mask, and I'm avoiding doing that, because I just want the reveal, the big yes. reveal. No peeks. Yes. Ms. It's Catherine. like Christmas, isn't it? Sneaking else, in. Sneaking to look under the beds and on top of the wardrobe for your Christmas presents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we don't. Sorry in my head, when I said slap her hands, we don't condone violence in the craft room. Well, not unless someone comes in and pinches something, obviously. <laughs> then, every man for themselves, quite frankly. <laughs> Only joking, I pulled off my name sticker, so... <laughs> okay, so we've got our finished pieces there so far. So what I want you to do, you're going to get one of your masks ready, so get your big mask ready. Okay. okay, so what we're going to do is get your water spritzer and then spritz. Keep your mask in place. Don't spritz with the mask off yet. Get your water on there. Okay, so we're going to put quite a bit of water on there. Not, I don't want you to get massive puddles, just quite a bit of water. <laughs> and then pop your mask on. Now, it's interesting this because what you'll get... When you start lifting the ink off around it, there we go. <laughs> oh, it wants us to join us after break for a big reveal, but, wow. but I, I, I can't, no, because I want them to start colouring in while we have a break. No, no, sorry. Right, okay, so what I've done, put the mask on, give it another little spritz, another cheeky spritz, and then take your rice paper now just remember your rice paper if it's got a lot of ink on it you might pop that ink on there yeah i don't want to do that so okay. i'm going to get a clean piece of rice paper oh, i better not do that because mine's absolutely yeah. it looks very pretty pretty but, but there's no white areas yeah. so or you might want your kitchen paper now the reason sometimes kitchen paper is better is trying too much the reason kitchen paper is sometimes better is because it's slightly more absorbent than your yeah. rice paper. So rice paper, although you can lift a lot off, sometimes it doesn't lift enough. So this has dried really quickly, this rice. We've changed watercolour cut while I have, so it's not, it's not holding the water just as much. So I'm going to spritz it now. Can you see all those colours moving? And then pop your rice paper over the top and just, uh, sorry, your kitchen towel over the top and you're just lifting off all the excess. I love this, because it goes almost dreamy, doesn't it? Look at that colour. Oh, now, beautiful. Your stencil, we're having this, so hopefully that's pretty <gasps> oh, subtle. Subtle, I subtle, like subtle that. for this one. Okay, subtle. So I'm going to pop that aside for one second. Okay. I'm just going to do this one. So if you have got your card mask, I'm holding this one in place while I do this because with my card mask, and it's funny, different watercolour paper, that reacts differently to the other watercolour paper. You'll find this. You'll find a lot of papers react different yeah. even though they're the same type of card because different brands, different yeah. makes, they all act different. But I love, I love this because I love those colours. And again with this one, now lift up that mask. And that, I mean, that is really subtle. 
but I'm happy with that. I'm not going to go any further. Now, now take away your other mask. Obviously, mine's nothing because I'm stamping it on that one. But on this one, I should have my little look how cute it is underneath there. So I've got my little mask. What about yours? Yeah, oh, I love it. So you've got your fabulous love character. It. Now, what we want to do is colour this in. We're, we probably won't have time to do the whole colouring. Okay. And obviously, I don't want to take too much time colouring, but we are going to have a little break. How long's our break? Three minutes. So if you can colour it in within three minutes, boom. Uh, but, wow. but what you can use to colour in, and this is a lovely thing about all the products that we've got today. Where did I put my water brush? We thought we were going to have a. We thought we were going to have a break. What we're going to have is Leonie looking for a water brush time. There's one here. I've not got yours and mine. I've had no. just one at this side. I'll I think. put it in a safe place. Well. Oh, yeah. there it is. Oh, you're a superstar. Right. Okay. With these products, with the distress oxide sprays and yep. ink pads, you can colour with them. Yep. So if you are using your sprays to colour in, so I've got a beautiful little dolphin there. My dolphin is going to be a pumice stone, but it's also going to be, oh, I think I might do a little bit of um, yellow for him, okay? So obviously, always give it a shake. Okay. If you're using these, what I love, spray on your cardstock because it's watercolour cardstock is this underneath that will act okay. as my palette so right. it'll mean what other colour are I going to use yellow so it'll mean um, I'll be able to pick it up from my watercolour cardstock but also that's your background again so yeah you're using it as your, your uh, palette but then that will be a lovely background. Yeah. And this time I sprayed really close to the right, card. Okay. So yep. if you're painting with your inks, with well your spritzers, spritz close, yep. and then it allows me to pick that colour up. So now with my water brush, I can go, be careful. That's probably going to be wet. Your hand, you're going to be sticking your hand straight in it. So just be a bit careful. But now with your water brush, you can start to paint now. It's up to you what um, images you've got. I chose my little dolphin as I knew it would be really quick. If you've got a bigger image, we'll probably work with that, you know, after, because I don't want to do a colouring in lesson for you today. It's more about backgrounds. But I did want to show you how to do that. When you're colouring, if you need to blend a colour, so for instance, if I wanted to go in now with the yellow, but I didn't want too much yellow, you put the yellow on, then take off the excess and then blend it. That allows you to blend the colour as opposed to applying more colour. Uh -huh. And it's a lovely way of using your colour. I'm going to give, just round the outside there, I'm going to give a lovely little yellow glow, which I think it looks lovely. So, and I think these colours are beautiful for your character as well. Aren't they, Catherine? What colour are you going for? Absolutely amazing. Do you know, I've played it safe to start with. I've got some brown, I've got the walnut stain. But I think I'm going to put some blue into it. Amazing. Yeah, I think so. She's going to have blue yeah, hair. I think she's going to have some Boom. blue in her hair. Yeah. Let's get blue hair going on. Okay. Right, we are going to take a little break. So if you want to carry on your colouring in, please carry on your colouring in. Um, hopefully we'll come back to these pieces. Have we used an hour already? <gasps> wow. Wow. Um, so we're going to take a three minute break um, carry on colouring in but whatever you do, do join us after the break. Thank you and we'll see you in a minute. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. 
Over 12,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening. So if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888. So don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hochanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hochanda family. Flexi Order has arrived at Hochanda. What is Flexi Order? When you place an item on Flexibuy in your basket, you qualify for Flexi Order which means any other items you add to your basket will also be included in your FlexiBuy payments, so you can spread the cost over multiple monthly payments. After your first payment is made, your entire order will be dispatched. When you add at least £60 worth of any items to your shopping basket, either online or on the phone, you'll qualify for our Flexi Order offer. This means you can spread the cost of your order over equal monthly FlexiBuy payments, offering you the extra flexibility when you shop with us. Flexi Order, making your shopping experience with Achanda easier. Hello again, gang. Welcome back. Um, Welcome back. How are you oh, getting on? Everyone's having. A, they're all like, "Oh, taking. I'm um, taking a smoke break. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a smoke break. Loving this. I hope you're having a nice time, everybody. Um, thank yep. you for joining us. Oh, I've put mine to the back. So if you're done with that, pop it to the back. We'll hopefully come back to that later. Our oh, Catherine's really going for it. I, with I am. In. You've lost me a little bit. I'm going to have to put this down, aren't mm, I? You're going to need to move on. Sorry. But it's coming together. I'm going to finish that. Right. That's not going to get left. And you see that a nice thing like I'm hoping we get to do finished pieces but that that obviously mine's in my art journal but that's mine in my art journal so that's where we're aiming hopefully we'll get to finish these if we don't get to finish them I will put these on Facebook yeah. so you will get to see finished pieces I wanted to try and do a couple of finished pieces but obviously backgrounds so what I want you to do we're gonna go to one of the ones behind us Hooray. so I want you to take, you know, the one that we did the circles with the stencils. So it's the second one that we did. So the circles and the, the stencils. So we're going to take these. Now, I love this because can they see that's the one where we flick the paint? Yeah. Uh, where we flick the water. And doesn't it look cool? So I, I just, these are just so, the colours are so vibrant. So what I want you to do is take your stamp, okay? So okay. we're going to take that big stamp first of all and find your acrylic block now we're using the um the thingies then what are they called the are they from the jelly plates what are they yeah. from they are the mega mounts they? Are they? Oh, the Mega Mounts, the Clarity Mega Mounts. Yeah, Mega Mounts, Mega Mounts. So we're using the Mega Mounts because look at the size of these stamps. They're yeah. huge. They fit on the stamp. So that's why we're using it on the Mega Mount. Oh, I like that picture. I wish I would not talk about that. We can talk about that. Who's that from? Claire! Oh, look at that! Oh, that's oh, beautiful! Wow, that's Claire, I love it! Oh, keep sending pictures in. Isn't that one of the Marlene stamps yes. there? Yes, I love them Marlene stamps. I know, they're fabulous, aren't they're they? They're seriously cool. I have proper design yeah. envy with Marlene stuff. Yeah. Wanted it all. Um, thank you. Please keep sending your thoughts in. I love seeing them. And obviously, if you can share them on Facebook, that'd be ace. On my yeah. Facebook, you know, the Leonie Pugil Chanda one. 
And if you can share them, I'll be able to have a look after. Um, okay, so taking that now, what I'm going to use is, uh, and now this is up to you, you might want to use a colour that matches perfectly. Mm -hmm. You might want to use something completely left to centre. I'm going to take a purple. It's okay. quite interesting, seeing as I don't really like purple. I was saying this in my workshop the other day, uh, when I was demonstrating. I'm not a purple fan yet, I seem to be obsessed with it. Strange. Well, I was it? never a green fan, and I seem to be drawn to green. Weird, isn't it? Really weird. Every now and again. So, ink that stamp up now. Do not worry if this is not a perfect ink. It doesn't matter. We are going for an image that, that is definitely not necessary to be perfect. So ink your stamp up. Now, what we're going to do, before we actually pop this on, I'm going to spritz it. Okay. The reason being, and I'm going to show you, okay? So before you do, let me show you. So when you, when you just stamp it, this is me being quite obsessive because that, I bet, will give me quite a, a clean stamp. Quite a clean stamp, mm -hmm. but because these are oxides, I know when if it reacts with water, the colours will be really, really yeah. rich. So if you, and I love that because you get grains in it. Mm. Okay, but with this one now, so I'll link mine up again, even though I would be able to do a print on that, most definitely. So we've got our two pieces next to us. Okay, so let's. So, what you want to do is, sorry, I'm trying to remember what we're doing. So, take that and then just give it a couple of spritzes. I'm going to lift this up, Mr. B, because I don't want to spritz right where I am. So, hold it like that and then <laughs> just a couple of spritzes. Don't go right in. If you go right in, you're just going to get puddles on your stamp. So a couple of spritzes, I've said a couple, that's about four, isn't it? Um, but what you want to do, you want to see the actual water on your, your stamp. You don't want it running. You don't want puddles running. You just want to be able to see the wetness on there, if that makes any sense. And oh, I think we're getting a close in. We are. Don't move, Catherine. Now you can see a very fine mist there, a little yes. bit of water, but it's definitely there. It is. It's a, it's that, it's a, a, what's it called? You know, oh, it's just that fine. Like oh, I can't remember when it's drizzle, rain. Drizzle, drizzle. Oh, it's that fine drizzle, isn't it? Oh, it gets you wet through. That fine drizzle, drizzle that gets you yeah. wet through. So, <laughs> yeah, so stamp, but I'm letting this one come off the page. Okay. It is up to you. We're going to be stamping on both of them, um, so it doesn't matter which you do first. I'm standing on my tiptoes because I like to get a bit of pressure on there and just working around that stamp if you're brand new to stamping one of your hands is holding your plate the other one's going around the plate and just getting a good bit of pressure on and then you'll get that image i like it falling off so that's my first image happy with that okay, pop it to one it. side second image and then i'm going to do exactly the same again so just inking that up nice and quick dink 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 as such. Now, with the stamps, these are chunky stamps as well, as in the line's chunky. So I wanted that because, again, it lets us do different techniques. And again, you're going to stamp. I'm allowing it to fall off the page. Standing on my tiptoes. And there we go. Let's have a little look. See? There. Now, again, you've got those two beautiful images. They look, even though one's on watercolour, one's on your, um, your uh, stencil card, they look pretty similar. The difference normally is, depending on how wet they are, if you make your stamp really wet when you spritz it, on your watercolour card, when you stamp on that, it starts to diffuse yeah. more. Whereas on your stencil card, um, the line's sharper. Yeah. And you can see it is slightly yeah, sharper. Yeah, you can see it. So that will show you with your stencil card. It is, you know, it gives you that real sharp image. Now, what you have got, your dirty stamp, yep. that has still got ink on it. Of so course. move your card out of the way. You'll have your, okay. your card that you're working on underneath still. Yep. If you haven't got card you're working on, you just take a scrap of card. Lots of water on that stamp. You're cleaning your stamp. Cleaning the stamp, I know it's, it's again, it's one of them things, but you can always look, you can always get a couple of really cool prints just cleaning your stamp. So always have scrap paper next to you and ready just to clean your stamp off because it looks, I love that. That's a clean stamp image, but that is such a cool image. So always have that next to you so you can clean your stamp off. It's worth it. 
How's yours looking? Yeah, Both good. Look nice, like isn't it? Yeah, Cleaning fantastic. stamp is, you get some of your best work just cleaning your stamp yep. and your, your stencils. Right, so what we're doing, we're only going to bring in, for now, we're only going to bring in the watercolour card. Okay. So the one we've just done, but just the watercolour card for now. Okay. And then we're going to bring in, as long as you can find yours, if you can, you're way ahead of me. Mm -hmm. uh, you want your heart stencil. There it is. The heart stencil. Oh, I've seen that. It's down here somewhere. There it's it is. It's in it. Yep, got it. So bring your little, little heart stencil in. Yep. And then what we're going to do um, is spritz over this. Okay. So what I'm going to do, first of all, bring in some water. So decide where you want this now. It's up to you. You might want it so it's in the really intense colour. You might want it straight in the centre. I'm going to, with this one, I'm going to have it coming in like that. That's where I've decided mine's going to be. It is up to you where okay. you position it. Obviously, have a bit of a play. Yeah. So I'm going in with water, first of all. I um, don't want it saturated. One of the lovely things when you're spritzing, you know if you when you don't spritz, Put your spritzer all the way down sometimes and you get like the yeah, drips. They splatters. look really cool in this. Yeah. So don't panic about drips and splatters. They'll look good. So get that. So we've got a little bit of a little bit of water on there. Not too much because I don't want it moving too much. But there we go. I say that and I always get carried away. Look at those colours. Now, distress oxide. Sometimes at first you think, oh, it's not doing anything. It does. When it dries, I mean, if you blast it dry now, yeah. all that spritz, so the white will start coming through, the oxidisation will start happening. Leaving it, you can already see some of the white coming through. That looks amazing. It's so cool. They're so cool. Let's take another colour. I'm going to go yellow Ooh. again because actually I'm going to mix it up. Rather than the one I did at home, I'm actually going to go uh, crack pistachio because I love this colour. I love all the colours, but... Yeah, I love all the colours. <laughs> They've become my new absolute favourite thing in the world again. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> Every time you hear me, you must think, oh, here she goes again. But they have. They're well good. So, what I'm doing this time, um, this card starts drying quite quick, but hopefully I might have to give it another blast of water. Right. And I'll talk you through it. The reason I want, and I don't want this too wet, uh, too mm -hmm. dry, because we're going to pick up a second print. Okay. So if it's too dry, I know my print's okay. not going to be strong enough. Yep. So if your card is wet, don't do this, okay? If it isn't, give it another little blast. Okay. Because then we can, I can see now I'd be able to take a second yep. print off that. Lovely. Now take your, your second colour. So mine's my crepe pistachio. I want to spritz it kind of in the heart yeah i want it so it's the heart that's going to get most of that color look at that green ridiculously gorgeous okay Ooh. and then pick up so i'm going to take another piece of watercolor cardstock and we're going to do a second print so just put your cardstock over the top of your first and press down now sometimes this is great Sometimes it's horrible. Is it all right? <laughs> 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 Catherine's picked up her heart. Well done. I oh, bet you could never do I that again I couldn't. if you tried. I can't line it up, can I? It doesn't matter. I don't care. Don't right. matter. Now, sometimes if it's horrible, don't panic. Okay. If it's amazing, brilliant. But sometimes, and I say that because I'm covering myself, but actually I like mine. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I love the colours. I just love the colours. How's yours gone? How's your second print? Uh, it's all right, yeah. No, it's uh, a yeah. nice second it's, print. It's, it's all right, it's yeah. It's a cool second print. Right, the reason I love these second prints, all these veins of colour, yeah. I'll let these dry. This is why I like to let these dry natural, because if you blasted that with a heat gun, you're chasing the drip. Of course, with yeah. What we'll get here, all this colour, it'll dry like that. So you're going to get, that's going to look so interesting. Yep. And that, again, that's just picking up your colour. I love the way the colours merge together I, as well. I absolutely do what you've done there. But I've got to say, there's an area of mine that at first, I thought, oh, I don't like that. But actually, how those colours yeah. are starting to blend and the texture you're seeing yeah, within yeah, the yeah. green and the orange. Isn't it cool? That's really good. It's yeah. really cool. If you haven't lifted your stencil off yet, now, now, another tip. If it's still quite watery where yep. your stencil is, 
take your rice paper and just lift off some of that water it round the stencil. This is because if you lift it and it's really watery, it, so around the stencil, when you lift it off, the water goes underneath, yeah. so it it, it um, takes the design away. When we lift it off now, we can still see the stencil. You know, I'm wafting mine because there's I've a little a spot that I don't want to spoil. <laughs> so I want to lift it off without dabbing it. I'm gonna, I'm or you can break. leave it. I'm you gonna... know, what? this is the thing. You can leave it. Don't That looks ace, Catherine. I really like that. I love the colour. It's these little areas here yeah, where the colours so are mixed. Cool. I love this. It's Every fab. single time it will be different. Every single yeah. person's will be different. Now, you can, if you want to, lift off where your stencil has been. You do not have to. Sometimes, if you leave it, it goes richer. Yeah. Sometimes, if you lift it off, you lift some of the colour so you get that colour coming out. It is up to you what you do with that. Because obviously, every time it will be different. We're going to leave these to dry because these are another two print that we are going to come back to. Now, I want you to see the difference now between this that's all diffused and that one. I mean, look how diffused that is. You know, it's so, it, it gives it a completely different look, doesn't it? It's so the one does, though, yeah. watercolour. Yeah, very different. And then the original. Yeah. I mean, it's so soft. Something we can do, however, before, oh, step, oh, I'm just going to wipe and put my stencil on there. Um, what you can do, right, and I love doing this, so on the one on your stencil card and then the one on your watercolour card, if you get one of your um, Distress Oxides, give it a shake. Again, every time, get into the habit of just giving it a shake. Now, I'm going for a completely different colour. Take the, you're actually unscrewing it. Okay, and then if you take your scissors or a ah. pen or something, do you know where I'm going? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And do your splashes. I adore this. Now, it looks really bright at first, but it's going to dry. Sometimes it seeps into it. What you will find, because that's quite wet, it starts seeping in and changing. This one, because it's your stencil card, it's going to be a little bit different. I love doing this because, again, it's a different way of using your oxides, but it looks fab. Trust me to pick one where the plastic's still all around. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get the top off. <laughs> oh, sauce. <laughs> Let's try and get it from the yeah, bottom. It's sealed the, uh, the, the lid down because it's not got the plastic off. <laughs> Do you want me to help? I've got scissors. I've got no nails. You go, and clean your pen off with rice paper. You go, let me get your scissors on that. Okay, where's the thing? Oops, better not chop my thumb off that. Yes, bit. be careful. That'd be a, a weird finish to me um, first craft along, wouldn't it? You could have some <laughs> nice bright red splatters then. Yeah, I don't think it'd work. <laughs> It's not, the, it's not the texture we're after. <laughs> there you go, uh, Catherine. Thank you very much. Thank you. So, have a look at that. So, again, it, that's a lovely way of using your Distress Oxides. And it's such a different way, whether you're using your, your normal ink spritzers or your Oxides. I love Oxides because of the way it sits on top of it. And also, of course, the, the colours. I just think that looks superb. How's that looking, uh, Catherine? I like Fabulous. it. Fabulous. Just wanted that little bit more pink in that one. <laughs> yeah. Good, innit? Okay. I might, I might change my colour for this one, put green on that one, actually. Okay. Can I do that? Is that all right? Of course you can. Do what you want. Ooh. That's a lovely thing. Yes, and it's not sealed up, so I'm all right. And while that. you do that, I'm putting mine to the back so we can watch our Catherine while I okay. just get rid of that. Oh, Ooh, we've got yes. loads of lovely no, colours like behind us. That looks good. That, uh, I love I that like green. That. With that twist of citron? Yes. Oh, I love that twist of yeah, citron. Like that. Lovely. Isn't it good? Yeah. It's so cool. Right, okay, so these were the ones I did at home. So they're the ones I'd done. Yeah, they look good. See, see? So you've got these, obviously, different colours. So you get different every time. That first one, well chuffed with that. Not as chuffed. Do you know what I mean? You'll get different every single time. Do you like that one? Ah, do you? Completely different. I but, like but, them both. I, so, I do love them. Completely different. Right, OK, next. Um, let's go on to our stamps. So what we're doing, again, pop them to one side. Okay. Next. Um, if you're finding your watercolour card, if you're working on watercolour card, if it's too wet, just change it. Um, if, you know, if your base is too, you've got it too wet and mucky, just change it, because obviously you will be able to use that. When I look at that, I've got images on there 
that I'd definitely be able to use. Yeah. You know, you're cutting them up. So what we're doing on the next one? Uh, we are going to take our stencil card this time. So bringing the stencil card in, I've got my um, and get your acrylic block because this time we're going to be using our stamps. So bring your stamps in, start with the big stamp and we're going to use archival this time. Okay. Now this, it, it's not, it, it doesn't have to be archival. This technique you can do with archival, you can do with your watercolour, um, like your distress. It is up to you. Yep. I thought we'd do archival just for a change, just to see what it did. Okay. So we use our stencil card, and what you do, pick any, uh, um, pick your favourite colours, or whatever colour you fancy using. So I'm going to go for an orange first of all. Now, when you're inking up this time, don't, I don't want you to ink the full thing. Okay. They're a big stamp. So yeah. what I want you to do is just dab in. Now, the way you do this, you can angle your ink pad. So don't go flat down, angle it, and then touch your stamp. So you can use the edge of your ink pad. You can obviously use um, the edge of your stamp. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. So you're not covering the whole image. So we're just working around there. So it's definitely going to give us a broken line. And I love this. There we go. Can you see? So we're doing this. Okay. Just working around so you've got that, that image. And I love this because this shows you... Um, what you can do with your stamp and okay. then just stamp now it can be on the page it can be off the page whatever you fancy so stamping on that paper remember most of the time I cut mine down so look you're going to get this really nice diffused textured image which I absolutely adore what does yours look like Boom. Oh, and I, I purposely that. went for a bit of splattered paper as well. Amazing. Yeah. See, so you're getting extra texture. I am. And I love it because, can you see how you've gone around the outside yep. of one of the circles? Yep. It just looks so uh, effective, really effective. Um, of course, now, you might have a lot of ink on it, you might not. You can get a second bit of stencil card and just see if you can get a second print. You might not because it dries quick, does your, your um, see. So I've hardly got anything, but it's always worth having a go because sometimes you'll get quite a bit, a lot of um, ink off there, just depending what you're using. So I'm going to go in with a second colour. Now, again, it's up to you what colours what it's up to use it's <laughs> <laughs> up to use <laughs> sorry I don't know where that popped in from it's up to you uh, what colours you use I'm going to go for um, a nice green this time I think oh decisions decisions yeah oh. a little a bit of a green so okay. it's up to you and I'm just going to do the same thing again so just touching some of the, the stamp and I don't want it to be a full image. So aim um, not for full images. And it's nice to use your stamps differently. It's nice sometimes not to use them so literal. You know, like with something like this, because we, with something like this, this isn't a, a literal stamp. It's a back, oh, I proper then, didn't I? Um, you know, it's not a literal stamp. It's something completely and utterly um, different for backgrounds for you know for your art journaling and then again I'm going off the page and you can see what I've done this time so really taking Ooh, it off the page yeah. I love this color and what I'm going to do cleaning my stamp so I know Ooh, that bit how's it look I good like that. stuff yeah, I like I'm that. cleaning my stamp there you go yeah. that looks ace See, I'm cleaning my stamp, but I'm actually going to hit that other corner just to see what okay, happens. Okay, yeah. I love this. So doesn't that look fab? It does. Half an hour, is that all? Oh, oh wow. How's grief. everybody getting on? Eh? Sylvia. Sylvia's watching, Jill's watching. Really enjoying this, Leonie and Catherine. Helpful information that needs regular reinforcement. Oh. Uh. Actually, it goes on. Uh as we all can forget the basic key yeah. stuff. Now that Sometimes, is something that we do we do say, yeah, we do exactly. forget. We we do, we certainly do, and we forget what we've got in our drawers as well. And all those things you can bring out and craft along with all your stamps, your, your stencils and all those other bits and pieces. But right. yes, I agree with that. Reinforce the mm -mm. key. 
absolutely to, um, and because we get new people and i knew yeah. we were getting key, new people today doing this so it's dead important not yes. to go in really really mad and messy okay so we're going to finish this one so you take the smaller stamp this time and again using the whatever color you fancy same idea so okay. we're just going to ink up not the full thing now the lovely thing is with this you can put you don't need to stick to one color you can put multiple colors on you know you can play with this and um, like for instance if i want to go the orange but then i wanted to go a little bit of yellow you know bringing two colors in on the stamp because it's a big stamp you can get away with that you know it allows you to build up color it allows you to build up your layers and again i'm just stamping it so it comes off my page a bit but then bringing it in in a second stamp i've twisted the stamp round so my second image is just going to come in and it's really faint but i love that and this you know where your eye has been drawn to my focal yep. point is there you know so you've got a focal image <laughs> you've probably already seen that i've started speeding up the way i'm <laughs> talking because it's like oh, oh i want to finish this so what we're doing next decide where your focal point is so what you're going to do you're going to take your rice paper okay. just ball up your rice paper put it where your focal image is okay don't worry about this covering proper that isn't your aim you're covering it slightly but that's all you need to do and then take one of your distress oxides so this time I'm going to go for pumice stone. I hardly ever use pumice stone. And pumice stone is such a pretty colour. Um, so, using my pumice stone, I'm just going to get a new piece of my rice paper. I do want us to finish at least one piece. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, but look how many two backgrounds hours. we've got here, Leon. Oh, it's amazing. Two hours. I thought we'd get loads done. Okay. Isn't it funny? It, it's, it's great fun. I know oh, that. Oh, we'd need a full day. Okay. So, keep that in situ. And then you're taking your colour, shaking it, and then spritz. Now, it's tissue in situ. And then light spritzes. Now, I like doing this because I'm going to move that round. Look, when you lift it, it's not going to be completely perfect. And I like that. I've moved it. So I'm going to pop that down again. Move it again because I know I can layer. Because I want to go for that corner. Okay. I'm just going in. You're getting that corner like so. Okay, really happy with that one. I might bring in a tiny bit of um, yellow because I'm addicted to yellow, as I said. <laughs> so another colour, you don't need to go look. I really like this because I think the way the colours now sit on top of those... And, and it's interesting because obviously your archival is your dye ink. So your dye ink, this is... It's sort of covering... Because it's got the the um, the opacity from your um, from the the thingy your your pigment, yeah. that's going to cover it slightly. So then when you lift that off, though, look at that! It just goes pow. It does. Now that it might really be too does. white. If it's too white, just go back in. So I'm just going to go back in with my. Um, well, I'm not going to go in with uh, Auntie. No, I'm not. I'm going to go in back in with my pumice stone again and just really lightly because I don't want to I don't want to lose that intensity. So one look, one spritz. Come on, spritz, so don't fail me now. Two spritz, that's all I'm going to do because I want to keep that intensity because yeah. I really like that. I think that looks really quite cool. And then when you put something in that sense point, that's going to look amazing. See right. what I mean? Lovely. How's yours looking? Yeah. No, I like it. Do you like it. the intensity? I like it, yeah. If and again, I've got one or two splatters, but I really like the yes. splatters. Well, that's it. If you want more splatters, all you do, put your water in your yep. hand again and do the splashing. That always, always looks cool. So it's always a really good way of getting extra texture in there. Again, put this to one side, okay? We're letting everything dry to allow us to create lots of different backgrounds. And when you go over, especially if you're using your oxides, when you go over and you see how they're drying, some of the colours are just tremendous, absolutely tremendous. Okay, next. So that were the ones I did at home, let me show you. So that were the two that I did. And actually with that one, can you see I put the stencil Ooh, over I that like one? Oh, I like that. 
See, different colours. That was the one exactly like we've just done. Oh, I like that was the one I decided to introduce wow. the stencil. So you're changing it. Every yeah. time you can change it. There's so many ways that you can use absolutely everything. Okay, the next one that we're doing. Where's my next one? Bear with. I haven't got time for this, Leonie. I know we haven't. I'm talking to myself, not the voices in my head. Okay, oh, it's all right, so you're on my desk already. <laughs> okay, so what we're doing next, and I, will, I am being a bit quicker, get your watercolor card stock next. Okay, so pop watercolor. that one to one, one side now, okay. Catherine. Uh, what are they all saying? <laughs> I've got to take me three days to clean up. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Um, watch my two favourite Chanda presenters. My Sunday is perfect with craft along. Loving it and learning loads. Um, oh, thank you ever so much. Um, wait, please. Oh, Adele, are you OK? Oh, are you with us, Adele? Oh. Are you with us? Are you with us? Um, OK, next. And I'm sorry if I'm going a bit fast. It's because I do want us to finish one piece. How much have I got? Oh, 20 minutes. Where does time go? Oh, no. OK. Next, love this technique. So take one of your Distress Oxides and I'm going to go for Fired Brick. Love Fired Brick, I don't use it a lot. Okay. Okay, watercolour cardstock. Watercolour cardstock is important. Here, yeah. Okay, one of your Distress Oxides. Okay. Now, this is a technique that's been around forever, but it's a good technique. So okay. if you've never done it like this, it's a cracker. Direct to paper. Direct to paper, you're literally dragging your ink pad now. Don't put too much pressure on it. Look, if you just lightly drag that ink pad, you get a, it skims the card, but it gives you texture. Your ink pad has got, it's a fixed, it's a solid ink pad. So that means if you angle it, you will hit the edge of your ink pad. So can you see what it does? So when you angle the ink pad, it'll give you the streaks. Yeah. See what I mean? Yeah. So don't go flat, angle, and use that edge along the actual cardstock and it cuts into your cardstock then so can you see what we're doing so some patches we're going in for full color and then others you angle your ink pad so you get in lines of color coming in like so i love this because it does look like it's the easiest way of creating that sort of wood effect it's easy it's really effective. You can do it with any of your ink pads, but it's one of those that uh, every time it looks good. Okay, so easy, easy background. Okay. That's okay. our first background. So now what we're going to do, get your stamp ready. So I want you to take your big stamp and find your acrylic block. Now this is the beauty of having a dirty acrylic block. Top tip, <laughs> if you have a dirty acrylic block, you can find it easier. It's not a top tip, it's just really... <laughs> honest, mate, honest. Honest, Governor. Oh, so, the excuses have been lazy. I know, right? <laughs> so what I want you to do next, with your stamp, let's prepare our stamp, with our distressers again. So use a couple of colours on it. So okay. I'm going to use um, a brown. I'm going to go for quite... Um, I don't know, quite dark colour, so I'm going to go brown and green. So I'm going to crack pistachio, and I'm going to do blocks of the cracked pistachio, like so. So blocks, I want you to keep open spaces. And then I'm going to go in with da -da -da, a bit of salty ocean. Again, keep blocks. You're not pulling one ink over the other ink. Because obviously you don't want to do that too much because you'll end up ruining your ink pads. And then I'm going to go in with my gathered twigs. Now, the oh, lovely so you thing... Oh, three colours on I've this. gone for three colours, oh. get me. Um, now, the lovely thing with the oxides, because they stay wet for yonks, we don't need to worry about this drying on your stamp. Yeah. OK, so we can prepare that and pop it to one side. OK. Is that OK? That's fine. Super. Um, all right, we're ready. So get your water spritzer, and I want you now to really spritz this. Now, it is watercolour cardstock, it's going to handle it. I love this. I love watching those colours move. Straight away, all the colours start to blend. I say all the colours, you've only used one on there. But straight away, it starts to merge. OK, when you've got quite a bit of water on there, um, you can then, look, if you tip your white paper up, and allow those see if you allow it to go you know the the veins that you already put in mm -hmm. 
tip it up so it's the same it's going in the si same direction as the veins of color so okay. if you are you know you're accentuating the um the wood sort of grain if you will so it's allowing it to come off so allow that to come off a bit doesn't need to come off altogether and then what you're going to do is over stamp now this is cool because that should be wet so when you go in with your stamp i'm going off the page when you go in with your stamp what it does those colors as long as your card's wet enough those colors will merge but they'll also be grabbed onto that paper look at the merge and look how they start to come into do you oh, see what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I'm going to stamp again. So that side <gasps> I did that. Oh. I'm going to move my stamp over. So okay. this side of my stamp has still got ink on it. Because I over that side. So that I've lifted the ink. This side has still got ink. Move it and then re-stamp. So it means your ink has been lifted here and my ink has been lifted here. So look at those colours. I adore this. I love how it starts to blend into that background. Yep. You can always try it again, see if there's any more ink left on that stamp. So just keep going in and stamping on it. Oh, I like that. Doesn't that look cool? That looks really good. And it's so nice, the way it moves. Yep. It's Again, it's all about the way everything moves and changes yep. that makes it look really, really effective. Now. What we're going to do, we're going to do a finished piece because if we don't do a finished piece, that'd be terrible. <laughs> so what I want you to do is go back. So pop that one to one okay. side. How much time have I got? Boom. Over 15 minutes, we might be able to do this. At least one finished piece. So, so, um, and I did have other backgrounds, but isn't it funny? I thought we'd get through tons. I have tried to slow it down and I'm sorry if, well, um, yeah right in it i hope i hope i hope i really hope it's um you know everyone's carried everyone's it's not been too fast um anyway what we're doing is okay. oh doesn't that look good i'm pleased now, with that when you come back have a look at this look at your colors don't yeah. they look they superb do. superb yeah, so really what we're like gonna do um, now, if you're at home, I love giving you black cardstock, I think, our Catherine. Okay. Um, I'm obviously using an art journal. Yep. Um, I love art journals because this is yours. This is your story. This is your creation, your art. You don't need to make it for anybody else. So it doesn't matter what is in there, it's yours. That's why I like art journals. Okay. You're crafting for you. It's not an excuse, you're crafting because yep. you love it. Um, so what I'm going to be doing, look at all these that I thought we were going to finish off. So what <laughs> we're going to be doing, you've got a piece of black card rather than art journal. Yep. So I'm going to cut this down so it fits into my art journal. Okay. You'll be cutting it down so it, it fits. fits onto my card. Yeah, but okay. it doesn't have to be A4. I must admit, I don't normally aim for A4 pieces, but the choice is yours. You will not throw away any of the scrap paper. So whatever size you work on, all of those extras you will keep. You keep offering it up to your page so you can see where you're going. And notice those colours. Because if you are working with oxide, that is the gorgeous thing about this, the colours. The way they, they diffuse on the page, the way they overlay, they just look amazing. So decide which bit you like the most. I like that. I think that looks A, so I definitely want that. And just cutting it down so it's going to fit onto that page. And I'm just putting a nick where I want it. And obviously, as I say, all these scraps, even when you don't think you're going to use them, you know, it's like, oh, I might never use that. Keep all of these. It's watercolour cardstock. All of these you will still be able to, uh, as soon as you put water on, let me show you, as soon as you put water on this, Look, it'll it'll react again. I'm saying look, it will react again. There. Can you see it's colouring in? So even these scraps you will be able to use and the beautiful colours. Let's pop them to one side. Let's have a look see. In my book if it fits. No it doesn't. Yes it does. So pop it on, decide if you like it. I love that. Look, I love this here. 
Every single person oh, it will be different. Oh, that looks amazing. The way it's oxidised is it phenomenal. It does look amazing. Now, when you're, and you might still be cutting yours down, so don't, I'm not going to rush ahead, I promise. OK, I, I'm, I'm, I am taking it steady. I'm taking a bit off one side and the other because I am really sort of trying to decide where you, I'm, I can afford to lose it. it. It's because there's certain areas that I really like and I don't want to yeah. lose them, but I've got to lose something somewhere. So but it, you'll be using that again, so yeah. that's OK. Oh, Adele said, I'm OK, Leona. Yeah. Oh. Oh, because I'm worried. Uh, full of ink and love it. Oh, thank you, gang. I hope you're having a nice time. OK, when you put the yours down, take your black ink pad. Do what we always do. Go around those edges. Now, when you're doing this, don't be scared of allowing... Again, it's... Can you see where I'm tilting that ink pad in? So, tilting the ink pad in. And I'm also allowing my paper to bend a bit. And when you do that, when you go around your edges, It'll give you, like, you go around to make sure it's absolutely covered, but then as it comes in, can you see, it's OK if it comes in, because that can create extra shadows into your card, and it can look really quite interesting. So go around the edges, like so. There we go. Right, happy with that. That, even though we're putting it on black cardstock, that, because we're working on a watercolour cardstock, our watercolour cardstock is heavy. So yeah. that edging really gives you that finished effect. I'm gluing it and popping it in my little book. So I hope you're working with books. If you're not, as soon as you pop that on black cardstock, look, it makes it go pop, doesn't it? It the certainly black does. makes that amazing it so does. always always pop your pieces on black because it's amazing okay so where we're aiming for is this i'll let you get your stuck down now catherine okay before i zoom us on so um obviously if you're doing this for cards brilliant for cards it might be something that you're going to be framing um it might be obviously something for your art journal i like the black art journals because i think with your black art journals all your pieces look really well framed and it does allow you not you don't have to work on um you don't have to work on a white piece of card you know with your art journal i like the black because it allows you to work on anything it's really cool okay so we're sorted we are. right i want you to take your big circle stencil okay okay and then pick up one of your ink pads now it wants to be something that you are going to see on this background okay so i'm going to go for a blue again so I'm going to go for a cheeky bit of salty ocean. OK. And then what you're going to do is get your sponge. And what we're doing, we're almost creating um, a pattern coming into this. So okay. it's looking at your stencil differently. So pick up your ink and then just drag your ink gently along the stencil. But don't go the whole way. You just do teeny little bite-sized pieces. Okay. So just a tiny little bit. That's it. And then I want you to lift the stencil and move it. So what you're doing is that line where you came out. Yeah. Because what we're doing, we're creating a line for your words to sit on. Okay. I want you now to bring this. So you might be bringing it and extending the line this way, for instance. Okay. Okay. So taking this and extending it that way, but then with the stencil, I can then pop this. So where it fades out, yeah. I can take that stencil, I can put it back over. So where my line finished, you take your stencil, put it back over and pick that line up. Do you see what I mean? Yeah. So now look, I've created a curve line oh, I from see. a circle clever, stencil. Clever, clever. Ah. See? Yes. So you, you are in control. All you need to do is watch where you're putting your ink. So I'll do that again. So going from the outside, I decide just to cut, take the ink a little bit along that stencil. Stop. And then take your stencil again. In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm going to extend it because I want it out a bit more. So where it fades out, you bring your stencil. And I like it because you're looking at your different parts of your stencil. You're looking at the, the skinnier bits of your stencil, the wider bits of your stencil. Take it like that. I like that how it just drifts off like that, though. Doesn't yeah, that look good? I like that as well. So use your, 
don't use your stencils literal and then for instance I might just want the circles if I just want the circles I can then take those and maybe maybe put them along that line so if I do that I just take my sponge and I'm just boinging over the ink over those circles so really really looking at that stencil being very specific okay does that make sense it does for you at home I am going to do it once more so you get me drift and I'm sorry if I'm repeating this and you're thinking we understand Leone but just in case so again just going in from that line where it ends I've decided oh I want it to come up here a little bit more so I'm going to take that one but it's a narrow bit of my stencil and allow that to come up a little bit more but I'm going to allow that to fade off so I've gone for a narrow bit and just allow it to come up and then fade off really like that I think it looks cool okay now the other thing you can do because these are distress oxides obviously they'll work with your water you could always bring your water brush in and actually along those lines you can always drag those lines out as well and that of course will allow you if you want if you want to extend the line you can do it with your water brush okay lovely so it is up to you We've only seven minutes though, so I ain't messing. But if you wanted to, you've got that option. Um, however, something like this, all I did to finish this off, we use our fantastic stickers. In your kit, you will have got your stickers. Mm, don't know where I put mine, I put mine there. So you'll have got your lovely little word stickers. The word stickers are ace. I mean, you can color tint the white ones if you want. So for instance, where did I put that sponge? So if I went in, and the white ones just with a bit of ink I love it because you can do sort of patches at a time so with the white ones you can colour tint it and then pop that wherever you fancy so I'll have art in that corner and then in my other corner I'm gonna have um, help <laughs> <laughs> I kind of like that. Now I'm going to have grow <laughs> as opposed to just help. So I'm going to have my grow coming in along here. Now finishing touches for this one would be drawing pens. Your drawing pens, you can add lines, you can add all sorts of detail. You can go around the outside of your sticker to create gorgeous effects. And that, especially on the one up here, that just draws the eye in. So you're creating that really draws the eye in. And then with my drawing pen, just taking my pen and going around the outside. Now I'm using Posca's. You can use drawing pens, but I mean, drawing pens should be okay because we're not working on acrylics. However, um, some drawing pens don't like it. So just see what yours will do. But your Posca's are brilliant. They will work on this. So if you haven't, if you've got your pen and it isn't doing what you want it to do, Pick up a Posca. Pick up a Posca. Okay. And then just your lines. How are you doing, Arca? I'm doing all right. I'm, I'm really, really into this, Leonie, I've got to say. Are you having a nice time? I certainly am. It's chilling, isn't it? It's, it's amazing. I love it. It's just such a nice way of crafting. Love. Oh, Rachel. Let's Ooh. have a look. What's our Rachel? <gasps> Rachel? That's amazing. Oh, look at that. Hey, have she done that today? Oh, I love that, Rachel. You've gone off piste and carried on. That's absolutely beautiful. I love that. Thank you, Rachel. That's gorgeous. I love this because people will do that, won't they? They'll just go, they I'm will, doing this. Yeah. Now, what time have I got? Have we time to finish one more page? Five minutes. Okay, so with the five minutes, let me take... So, um, you know the... Um, what? <laughs> loads of time I know before a show five minutes is all the time in the show no, <laughs> five minutes five minutes allows me to do it all sorts when I'm not live on air right where'd I put my art now this is a tip I wanted to show you so go back you know the one that we picked up the paint so this is the one we picked up so when we had our stencil in place our heart stencil and we we put this down this is the one we picked up so it'll look like you've got a bit of patchiness to it okay now get yours our Catherine okay now, yeah because I'm just lost now you're playing. lost it's all right do what you fancy <laughs> it's not a biggie 
pop your stencil back over this is a nice little tip pop your stencil back over and then I'm going to take fossilized amber with your ink pad if you lift up your ink with your stencil in place now mine's a bit of a dirty stencil so it's going to go a bit greener but when you work over this it's really nice because it gives you um, it really highlights it. So going around with stencil in place, she says moving a stencil. Keep the stencil in place because I love the line underneath it. And then just going, look, going around like this. And then when we lift that off, can you see you've got that beautiful glow? I really like that because before it was too white a yeah. space. But when you bring that in, that stencil, that just that bit of yellow, it just lifts it. And then as soon as you cut that down, it's going to look absolutely beautiful. And with any of these, cut them down, you know. So take your uh, paper trimmer. Where did I put my paper trimmer? There. So take your paper trimmer. So with something like that, you take your paper trimmer, chop bits off it, and that affects it so much. You know, as soon as you chop off the bits you're not into, take that off, decide which bits you want. So I like that, I sort of like that movement there. I like that there, so I'm all right with that. Keep all these bits. These bits are beautiful. And then look, that again, really, really cool. You can even, I mean, you can even bring in your stencils. So if you want to create extra depth and dimension, bring your stencil in. And I might use the, I might use the blue. So using the blue and then just creating a tiny bit of extra detail. So again, with your stencil in place. So you're going over, because I had, because it's a pickup card, it means you've got a nice open spaces. So when you're bringing your stencils, do you see what I mean? It's creating extra detail. How are you doing now, Catherine? Ah, oh, I love it. I love it. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, I'm just Doesn't playing. Doesn't make a difference, though? I'm just playing. That I bit, just, that just, just loving it. Play. And hopefully, um, I know we haven't got a lot of time left. Thank you ever so much for joining us. I'm really hoping everybody's had a nice two hours it's gone so quick it's gone so quick um i want your feedback i want to know like obviously you know when you do these things because i know there's hundreds of people <laughs> watching which is well scary because um, <laughs> i know there's hundreds of people watching um let us know let us know what you thought because of course you have to try and adapt it to everybody so i really really hope um we've ticked lots of boxes Look at that. See how cool does that look? I always take lots of boxes and people have learnt things. See, something like that, so easy to finish. Yeah. With those stickers, you take something like this and then pop a sticker on it. Can I just, before we run out of time, another nice way of, of creating emphasis on that, be right brave with black. So if you take your black, where do I put my black? Thank you. I know we've got a couple of seconds. So if you took black onto this, and it is a bit scary at first, but look, pop your black on. So I'm going over that yellow now, with your black, and have a little look at this in a second. I love this because you just blend, blend, blend. Look oh, at no, that. Doesn't that look good? How much seconds. have we got? 45 seconds. 45 seconds. Okay. Right. Um, thank you. Thank you ever so much. That has gone so fast. I promise what I'm going to do, my finished pieces, I'll put on Facebook. Uh, so have a look on Facebook. I'll make sure I put those on there so you can see what we were wow. going to do. Um, gosh, how could we run out of time when we had two hours? I know, I know. It's That's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. But please, I would love your feedback. Oh. You know, do we do, do all right? What? what do you want to say? Time? I've loved every second. I'm sure everybody out there has as well. It's been amazing. Thank you for your images. It's just been a wonderful afternoon. Thank you, Leone. Thank you. I love Do that. send you those images. Let us know what you've thought. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.